Hello everyone, please welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you Dell XPS 17 inch. It's a 9710 model and it's an Intel Core i7. This is a really good laptop. It has only one SSD at this moment. It's a 500 gig and I'm going to upgrade to additional SSD which will be another 500 gig. It's very easy and simple to upgrade your SSD. This is the SSD I'm going to use and I'll list the part number under my description in case you need to upgrade yours. So let's get started. Before starting make sure that your laptop is powered off. We're going to flip it over. So we're going to use T5. We're going to open all these screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure that these are tiny screws, don't lose them. Once we remove all these eight screws, now we're going to pry it open from this end, as you can see, this area. So we're going to use this pry tool and we're going to put it right in here, just slide through, just like this. See, the gap appears. And we're going to go all the way around like this. Pry tool, just like this. As you can see, all the tabs are keep opening. See? It pries open just like that. So just be careful. So once it's open up, you keep in the same place the location we have for our SSD and it's very easy. We're going to upgrade it. Very easy to tell if there is a SSD which side. As you can see, SSD motherboard, you can see it right there. And this one is a dummy one. So we're going to open this one. We're going to put the new one. Very easy and simple. We need to open two of these screws. And this is the SSD I'm going to use. So I'm going to open it. Very nice packaging. This is the SSD. Now we're going to open it. You need regular screwdriver. It has a two screws. So we're going to open this screw and this one. Screw for the battery. Make sure you don't lose the screws. One tip I want to share with you that this one is right under the battery. It's a good idea. There is another screw for the battery. Do you loosen the screw, then you just lift the battery like this, a little bit, and it will come out easily. So now we get the SSD. It has only one orientation, so you know, very easy. You insert it in, you press it all the way in, and then you push it down, just like this. And it sits right there. This is the cover, same thing. We're going to pull the battery up, just like this. You don't have to apply any force on this one. So you just lift to this one a little bit, and it would slide underneath. You do it like this. This is it. And now we're going to put the screws back in. So once it's tightened, we're going to get the second screw that goes inside right here. And we're going to tighten. Please don't forget the one screw on this side of the battery, which we loosen it, we tighten it also. So that's how it's easy and the simple you upgrade your SSD. The only thing is left, we're going to put the cover back and we're going to put the screws back. So we're going to turn it on and you will see it's fully upgraded to one terabyte now. I have posted another video of memory upgrade on this Dell laptop. So please check it out my video. Thank you. So we get the cover back, the cover right on top, just like this. And then you just have to press it. We're going to make sure that this all sides are Perfectly seal, and now we're going to put the screws back in. After tightening all the screws, now we're going to make sure that we're going to turn it on and see the performance. After adding another 500 gig of SSD, now it's starting. So it's all started. So it's working beautiful. After adding the second SSD, and as you can see, we are looking under the drive. This PC shows only one drive. We need to initialize the disk, and uh, I'll show you how to do it. Perfect. Open the disk management. Once you are in disk management, you open it. So you see, it opens up and shows the disk one need to be initialized. Partition, GUID, and we're going to press OK. 
After clicking OK, you need to format the disk. As we can see that the second one is an unallocated partition. And uh, we're going to right click, press new, simple volume. And we're going to say next. Keep doing next, next until it's finished. So as you see, as soon as we did the partition, it's allocated and the new name is automatically configured to volume D and it pops up on your PC. Now we have a two drive. I have a capacity one terabyte. So this is very easy, simple as I mentioned to upgrade SSD drive. If you found this video to be helpful, like always like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a good day. Bye bye.